All right, guys, today I'm talking about a house called Juicebox, Juicebox Fragrances. They've been around since around 2016. I think they made their way here to the States around 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. And I've got five of their fragrances here, and I'm doing a top five list of fragrances from Juicebox. And they have a lot more fragrances. I'm basically just ranking the ones that I have here. And I think that this is a fairly decent house of fragrances, and the folks behind Juicebox are also the same folks behind the brand, the designer brand, uh, Costume National. So if you know those fragrances, you should definitely find out about Juicebox fragrances. And I'll let you know all about the brand and also five of their fragrances ranked in my top five list. So if you want to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yesterday I'm talking about juice box fragrances. They're inspired by music and I worked in the music industry, I still do, uh, for the longest time. I work with uh, music creatives, music legal and things like that. So I always thought that having a a uh, perfume brand inspired by music was al always a great idea. So we have Juice Box, and their bottles are kind of unique bottles. As you can see, they have a record on top of it. Kind of looks like a little record. Obviously, we don't really use records anymore. Although, I hear it's kind of a making a comeback. People are going back to vinyl and things like that. As you can see, these are the bottles. Um, uh, this one. I I've been featuring some of their fragrances in different videos. I've also reviewed uh, several of them on their own. I've reviewed Black Powder and Green Bubble. Uh, I've been featuring um, Cheeky Smile in a lot of videos. Cheeky Smile is, was just recently featured in my Ambroxan Fragrances video. And then Beat Cafe here was featured in a Dominic Ropion Fragrances video. So I also have uh, another Dominic Ropion creation called Feel and Chill. So that's five total and I'm going to let you know all about them. But before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So each fragrance on its own is inspired by one music style or scene. Um, we're covering five different styles here of fragrances and we're also covering five different music scenes. And uh, each one is created by well, each one is created by a different perfumer, but I've got two from Julien Rasconet in this collection, two from Dominique Ropion, and then we also have another Dominique uh, Mulhausen, I believe the name is, for Cheeky Smile. But we're going to start off with the first one called Green Bubble. I featured this in Cannabis Marijuana Fragrances uh, videos. I also have a full review of it. This is created by Julien Rasconet. Uh, the fragrances are all 90 mil. $190 except for Cheeky Smile which is a little more because all of the fragrances are at 20% concentration except for Feel and Chill is 19% concentration so those fragrances retail 90 mil for 190 but uh, Cheeky Smile on the other hand is 25% concentration so it's $210. So we're starting off with Green Bubble 90 mil $190 created by Julien Rasconet. It's inspired by reggae music and I would call this a woody amber fragrance and the notes here for Green Bubble are marijuana accord absinthe dry amber saffron honey sandalwood patchouli cedar. This one is really literally like lots of cannabis greenery uh, Smoky and also green at the same time, and then there's this like this kind of like oily gasoline petroleum like thing running throughout it as well. So it's a very very pungent uh, creation. Uh, a bit. Um, I mean, if you smoke marijuana, you kind of understand uh, how that kind of a smell would be. But it, I think they've captured the smell pretty uh, originally. So it has a little bit of a dirtiness, uh, a little skunkiness is what I was going to say with this particular fragrance. So I think it's a great interpretation of what cannabis or marijuana should smell like. But you do get, you know, the ambery touches here. There's dryness here. There's some saffron as well. And then, you know, absinthe kind of gives it us this kind of a greenish licorice kind of an experience. But there's also a little bit of, you know, earthy patchouli in here and of course woods of sandalwood and cedar. 
The only thing that's giving us the sweetness, I think, well, no, not the only thing. I think we're getting some sweetness from uh, the absinthe note in here, but also the honey. Honey adds some sweetness, but other than that, it's pretty pungent and it has this kind of slightly dirty, um, you know, skunkiness in there, which I think the inter interpretation for marijuana, I think, is perfect. But sadly, this is at number five out of the ones I have here. Um, you know, it's not as easy to wear, but the inspiration reggae music, I think, is perfect, perfect here for this one with Green Bubble. You know, marijuana, reggae music, all that good stuff kind of go hand in hand. So that's Green Bubble, created by Julien Rasconet, inspired by reggae mu music, and it's it's a woody amber composition and that's at number five. So number four going to a, cre a creation by Dominic Ropion called Feel and Chill. So this is considered an ozonic green fragrance created by Dominic Ropion. It's inspired by lounge music. So I'm a big music guy. I love my music and lounge music was so popular in the late 90s early 2000s kind of those chill out um, compilations from Cafe Del Mar and things like that and I think this is inspired by Ibiza you know after a night of dancing you're kind of like still hanging out at clubs and you're listening to more of a chill vibe of music rather than like the one that has the beats and you know this is definitely capturing that style because it's a very chill relaxed music experience for me that's what I get with this one uh, it has a watermelon uh, note in here and watermelon can be tricky because watermelon can go aquatic marine and it definitely goes there but it kind of like it contrasts with um, this ozonic qualities and I think we're getting that from not only the watermelon but there's there's I think there's some additional uh, ozonic notes thrown in here like violet leaves generally has ozonic touches uh, but you know watermelon does as well and it's very very prominent here but this is not all about the watermelon but first of all let me tell you it's 90 mil 190 dollars this is the one with the 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 least amount of concentration and it's 19 percent whereas everything is 20 percent so it's very close and then of course uh the uh uh, the uh, cheeky smile is at 25%. But the notes here are fig leaves, watermelon, coconut water, bergamot, vetiver, and musk. And you get the notes. It's a very chill experience. It's really relaxed and cozy. Fig leaves are prominent, so there's a major green quality here. And it contrasts beautifully because fig leaves has kind of like a bitter green kind of a smell to them. Uh, you know, lightly camphoric kind of a smell if you've ever touched and rubbed uh, the fig leaves you can kind of get that smell it's definitely prominent here but also the watermelon is prominent here and it's this note i think that's giving us this kind of like ozonic touches but it does also go aquatic marine a little bit as well watermelon definitely does for me i don't know why so this is not only fruity but also at the same time a little marine aquatic as well the coconut water adds this light creaminess to the experience then of course you've got some vetiver and musk for the dry down i think it's a great summer fragrance it's fresh it's very very refreshing and kind of fun as well you know because watermelon has a fruity smell it's a fun note it definitely has a fun quality to it and it's definitely captured here and I can see this fitting that chill out vibe of music you know it's very relaxed smell there's nothing like you know like the green bubble is completely the opposite it's all like really intense notes here we have some very very chill out kind of uh, notes which makes uh, for a very relaxing wear so feel, feel and chill at number four from the house of juice box uh, fragrances let me know if you've tried those two fragrances so far i've spoken about i'd like to find out all right at number three i am going to be talking about cheeky smile so this is the one that has 25% concentration. So this one is slightly higher priced, $90,210. And this is created by Dominic Mulhausen. It's considered a woody amber fragrance and it's inspired by acid house music. So we first did all the acid house music, then we were gonna go and 
chill out with the feel and chill kind of a thing. So I'm going in the reverse uh, direction. First you chill out, then you go for a night out dancing. Uh, but I think this is a great inspiration for acid house music. One of my favorite styles back in the late 90s, I was listening to a lot of acid house music, the KLF and bands like that I really, really loved. And I could see this fitting that genre of music because it's all very synthetic. Everything is all very synthetic. I recently featured it in a um, fragrances for that feature Ambroxin. So if you haven't caught that video, go catch it. It was from over the uh, Saturday top 20 list. But this has notes of Ambroxin, Ambrosinide, ISOE Super, Cashmere and Amber Extreme, Amber Core. So in the end, it's woody ambery. And for me, it's lots of Ambroxin. And Ambroxin for me, I it's supposed to be like a synthetic version of ambergris. For me, they don't smell anything alike, but ambroxan has become very, very popular and it's used a lot in perfumery. And it's a very, very sexy musk, especially once it mix with, mixes with your own chemistry. Uh, you create your own special mu mu musk with it and it leaves a great sexy trail, especially when you heat up your, your body's a little heated up and you're walking around and you're kind of like leaving your little uh, perfume trail. But for me, Ambroxan has touches of amber, has woods, lots of woods, shaved uh, woods, chopped woods, kind of musk, and a little bit of, am uh, you know, uh, not am amber, yeah, definitely amber, but also I was going to say some light uh, aquatic touches as well for Ambroxan. That's what uh, makes that smell for me, and it's really, really prominent here. But there's also this ISOE Super, so it's very, very woody and ambery at the same time. I think this is a great fragrance if you like those kind of uh, molecule fragrances, but more intense, really, really concentrated versions uh, of uh, fragrances like that. I think you should definitely give this one a try. Like Super Dose from, um, not a perfume Super Dose, from the house of uh, Juliet Has a Gun and also Thomas Cosmala's number four, I Play L'Amour. If you like those fragrances, definitely try Cheeky Smile. I think you will definitely be satisfied. So that's Cheeky Smile at number three from the house of Juice Box with my top five Juice Box fragrances video. Number two is Beat Cafe. Beat Cafe is a surprise love for me. I keep wearing it and I want to wear more of it. Uh, it does hint at the fragrances of the style of Jazz Club from um, Maison Margiela, but it's got its own unique twist and I actually like this a lot more. This is considered a woody amber fragrance and Dominic Ropion created it. Of course, I featured this in a Dominic Ropion created fragrances video. This one is inspired by folk rock music. So, you know, late 50s, uh, 60s kind of a thing. Not my favorite style of music, but I appreciate uh, the actual era and uh, everything about the era. You know, going to a you know cafe, smoking and you know drinking uh, maybe ca coffee or in some kind of a liqueur or something. So the inspiration I really dig. The music is not my favorite style of music, but for this one, the notes are tobacco, cognac, leather, cedar, benzoin, labdanum, vetiver, black pepper coriander. So in the end, it's very tobacco-ish and it's also very creamy, boozy at the same time. You've got a lot of that, but there's a little bit of leather, you know, thrown in there, you know, with the beatniks wearing their dark leather jacket and, and things like that. I think I just visualized that and I think this the whole thing is very, very connected because there were a lot of smoking going on, a lot of drinking and things like that. Maybe coffee as well, but coffee is not listed as a note here. But the end result is a very, very beautiful amber, very woody ambery fragrance similar to this this is considered a woody amber this is considered a woody amber but they're so different in smells this is all synthetic notes these are definitely more realistic notes so the inspiration for this is folk rock the inspiration for this is acid house so I, I get that you know that the inspirations are perfect I think and I think Dominic Ropion has done a great job here um, giving us a fragrance inspired by this particular music genre and era of the folk rock music and you know I, I'm like I said I'm visualizing beatniks and things like that smoking and drinking um, you know cognac or booze of some kind so it is a great fragrance I really dig this one it didn't make it at number one because I prefer number one a little more than this but it's a great scent to wear uh, especially when it's like fall out because the, the kind of notes are in here definitely fit and appropriate for fall you know 
cold warm at the same time I think it'll be perfect so beet cafe a great scent check it out uh, and also go check out my Dominic Ropion fragrances video uh, to find out his creations which features this uh, in the uh, video as well and last but not least my number one favorite from this house the five that I have from this house my number one favorite is black powder so this is considered a leather or queer fragrance once again created by Julien Rasconet he created these two fragrances and of course I said Domina Gropion created uh, these two so black powder is inspired by grunge music. Um, grunge music was a scene that I really dig. I, dug, I, I love that kind of music, especially early on with, with you know how, how Nirvana came on the scene. And I, I thought that whole album, the original album they came out was was amazing. And that's what I visualized with this one. I visualized Kurt Cobain. But either way, this is at 20% concentration once again, 90 milliliter, and it's considered a leather fragrance. And it's a great, great leather fragrance. And I'm gonna say this. I was thinking when I was putting my notes down if you like leather fragrances and you're burnt out on Tuscan leather from Tom Ford this is definitely a great leather for you to check out to see how different it can be you know in the end it's using leathery notes in here but the fragrance kind of goes in different directions uh, and it's a unique uh, you know different uh, fragrance uh, than uh, Tuscan leather you know how you know Tuscan leather has a lot of other brands inspired by that fragrance they make their own versions of it this one and again as I said it is leather in the end but it does smell different than Tuscan leather but the notes here are suede leather tobacco apple blackcurrant frankincense tonka beans pimento patchouli sandalwood but it's a really really beautiful leather soft leather supple buttery leather really really beautiful in that way and it's also warm and spicy but there's definitely fruitiness in here uh, from the apple and the blackcurrant that definitely comes in and it's a uh, it's unique for me to experience the, you know, apple as a note with the, or against the leather, whereas with, you know, Tuscan leather, you've got the kind of raspberry-ish fruitiness. The apple is a very, very uh, con great contrast to this kind of soft leather because green apple or apple in general, I get a crispness from it, so that's definitely present here. You have a little bit of smokiness from tobacco as well, and in the end, I think this is a really, really great creation by Julien Rasconet for uh, Juice Box. A great, great leather, a great alternative for something like Tuscan leather. If you enjoy leather and you're burnt out on all those leathers that smell very similar to Tuscan leather, I think this one's definitely one for you to try for a unique take on leather, especially with that apple note and uh, the tobacco note. So that's Black Powder from the House of Juice Box created by Julien Rasconet. I think that's all I have to say for you today about Juice Box. I mentioned that they're kind of an offspring brand of the folks behind Costume National. Uh, whereas Costume National is a clothing designer and they have fragrances. This is no clothes here with this brand. Uh, it's just fragrances and fragrances inspired by music, music genres, music eras and things like that. As I said, I'm a big fan of music, love music and I love the inspirations behind these fragrances in connection to music really really does make sense for me and I'd like to check out more of the fragrances from this house to see what else there is there isn't a store here in San Francisco where I can go smell these fragrances sadly so they're a little bit more risky for me uh, to you know blind buy them and things like that but so far I've been pretty uh, impressed I really like every single one of these the one I find the most challenging of course is green bubble because it does have that kind of skunky you know marijuana-ish kind of um, oily almost like petroleum oiliness in there uh, that's very very realistic but the rest of them are fairly easy this one of course as I said is very very sexy it's a very very sexy synthetic musk uh, perfect for uh, anyone looking for something like uh, you know am ambroxan and baccarat rouge kind of uh, fragrances anyway those are my thoughts today on juice box fragrances my top five let me know if you've tried this house let me know if you've tried these five fragrances and if you have another favorite from this house 
let me know. Put a comment down so I can find out to see what they are. Because like I said, I want to explore the house a little further. I wish they were sold here so I can smell them. Unfortunately not. Might have to buy some samples to sample the collection. But let me know what your favorites are from this house. Uh, and uh, if you've never tried them, which one sounds great to you? Uh, other than that, guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.